A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Two of the disciples of Jesus were on their way to a village called Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem, and they were talking together about all that had happened. Now as they talked this over, Jesus himself came up and walked by their side. But something prevented them from recognizing him. He said to them, what matters are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped short, their faces downcast. Then one of them called Cleopas answered him, you must be the only person staying in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have been happening there these last few days. What things, he asked. All about Jesus of Nazareth, they answered, who proved he was a great prophet by the things he said and did in the sight of God and of the whole people, and how our chief priests and our leaders handed him over to be sentenced to death and had him crucified. Our own hope had been that he'd be the one to set Israel free. And this is not all. Two whole days have gone by since it all happened. And some women from our group have astounded us. They went to the tomb in the early morning. When they did not find the body, they came back to tell us that they'd seen a vision of angels who had declared he was alive. Some of our friends went to the tomb and found everything exactly as the woman had reported. But of him they saw nothing. Then he said to them, You foolish men, so slow to believe the full message of the prophets. Was it not ordained that the Christ should suffer and so enter into his glory? Then starting with Moses and going through all the prophets, he explained to them the passages throughout the scriptures that were about himself. When they drew near to the village to which they were going, he made as if to go on, but they pressed him to stay with them. It is nearly evening, they said, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. Now while he was at table with them, he took the bread and said the blessing. Then he broke it and handed it to them. And their eyes were open, and they recognized him. But he had vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us as he talked to us on the road? and explained the scriptures to us. They set out that instant and returned to Jerusalem. There they found eleven assembled together with their companions who said to them, Yes, it is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then they told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized him at the breaking of bread. The Gospel of the Lord. This weekend's gospel reading is the encounter on the road to Emmaus. And it's an easy gospel to imagine ourselves into, not least because one of the disciples remains anonymous, and so we can put ourselves in their place. I'm sure we're familiar with the story. Jesus joins them as they are walking away from Jerusalem. He listens to them as they pour out their hearts, sharing their disappointment over how things seem to have ended. He then explains the scriptures to them. And finally they sit down for a meal. And it is at the breaking of bread that the two disciples recognize that it is Jesus who has been with them on their journey. In the office of readings in today's Liturgy of the Hours, there is a reading from the writings of St. Justin, a martyr of the second century, describing what Christians do when they assemble on the Lord's Day celebrating the Eucharist in word and sacrament. If you were to read it, you would still recognize it as a good description of what we do now, or at least what we were doing until just over a month ago. And the resurrection encounter on the road to Emmaus also contains these two aspects of word and sacrament. I'm sure that even as you make a spiritual communion, you're all missing actually being able to receive Holy Communion very much. And I feel very conscious when I celebrate Mass and receive Holy Communion that I'm doing it 
for and on behalf of all the parish. However, we still have the scriptures available to us. And maybe this lockdown is an opportunity to renew our prayerful reading of the Bible, that our hearts may truly burn within us as we read and hear the word of God. So just a little reminder of the prayer we've been using throughout this year and hopefully still continue to use. Living God, you walk alongside us and speak to us throughout the scriptures. Your son, Jesus Christ, listens to our hopes and fears and shows us how to live for one another. Send us the Holy Spirit to open our hearts and minds so that we may be your witnesses throughout the world. Amen. We also continue to hold in our prayers those whose lives have been touched directly by the COVID-19 virus and those who are working hard to provide the essential services that we all rely on at this time. Perhaps you've been taking part in the National Show of Appreciation at 8 o'clock on a Thursday evening. It is certainly well supported on Booton Park Road and on Skellingthorpe Road. There is now also a national programme of prayer, with each week a different bishop celebrating a Mass in their cathedral at 7 o'clock on a Thursday evening for all those affected by COVID-19 in any way. All these Masses will be live-streamed and details will be on the National Catholic Bishops' Conference website. But even without the benefit of live-streaming, we can consciously have a moment of prayer on a Thursday evening before joining in the National Show of Appreciation. With my good wishes and prayers for you all, 